Hey, Blitz fam, it's your girl Bella. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you all what is inside of my everyday purse. I recently filmed a what's in my work bag video, which I'll link up here in the cards and down below for you to watch after this video. And you all really enjoyed that video, so I decided why not show you all what's in my purse. So I did not like empty out my purse or anything. I literally just have it in, I literally just have it in its normal state. Whatever is in here is in here. But this is my purse that I carry on like an everyday basis during the daytime. This is the YSL Lulu in the medium size. I can put the specs on the screen because I don't actually know like what the dimensions are and everything. This is a pretty big bag even though it's a medium. It is pretty big. I'm not going to necessarily be doing a whole like review of this bag. If you want to review this bag, let me know. I can do that in another video. I probably will. But this is the black leather. It's like a puffed leather and it has black hardware. There are two handles so you can adjust the bag and carry it either like this on your shoulder or you can go like this and have it as a long bag. You could technically do a crossbody too. I absolutely love this bag. It was one of my first designer luxury handbags that I ever purchased. I will say though, if you do decide to get this bag, which this is a very popular bag, so a lot of you have probably already heard of it or seen it. If you decide to get this bag, I will say do not get the black hardware. I wish I knew this beforehand. I would have gotten the gold hardware, but the black hardware is like sprayed on. Yo, I feel like I keep getting like hair on my face. So like, there's a hair on my face this whole video. I apologize. The black is like sprayed on. So after some time, it will start to sort of like wear off which is really upsetting that definitely makes me sad about this bag because when i got it it wasn't like that i probably had this bag for like a year and a half now so i might see if there's some way for me to get it like resprayed. i'm only seeing that issue on the handles because of course i'm always pulling them in and out i don't see that issue on the actual logo but yeah that is the one con about the black hardware so if you get this bag which i highly recommend i would say get the gold or the silver but that's enough preamble, let's get into what's inside of my bag. So this is a front flap bag and it has three compartments, the front, the back, and the middle compartment with a zipper. So in the front compartment, I first just have my wallet. This is nothing special. Okay, like there's no need for my phone to be going off. Here's an item that would usually be in my bag, my phone, but it's over here. This is my wallet, it's nothing special. It's literally just a coach wallet. I do want to get a new wallet, um, probably like a YSL one just to match, but I just have like cards in here. I have a chapstick, I have a Fenty gloss, I have a nail clipper, a $10 bill, ooh. Just, you know, the normal stuff that stays inside of a wallet is inside of there. I also have a lotion because I've got to keep that on me. This is the Jergens Ultra Healing. I don't know how people walk around without lotion. I have dry skin and as soon as I wash my hands, I'm ashy. So I can never be caught at the light without a lotion, okay? Always, always, always have this with me. I also have a little lens cleaner. This is for both my sunglasses and my regular glasses because I wear glasses so this is always important for me to have i have a pack of the five gum this is like the only gum that i will purchase because this is the only gum that i really like this is in peppermint cobalt i like this gum a lot very refreshing amazing all those things i have two loose cough drops in here i'm not sick but i was maybe like a month or two ago so two random cough drops i'll probably keep them in there because you never know when you or someone else might need a cough drop i also have this hand sanitizer this is I don't even know what brand it is because it's worn off, but little hand sanitizer. I also have these earbuds. These are these Samsung Galaxy Buds. I think I showed these in my what's in my book bag or what's in my work bag video as well. These kind of just go from bag to bag depending on if I'm at work or just going about my life. But yeah, these are the earbuds. I like them. I don't love them. I like how discreet they are and I like that they don't fall out of my ears, but the sound quality is not the best in my opinion. And I mentioned this in my last what's in my work bag video and I got a lot of recommendations so thank you all who gave me recommendations on new ones I just need to go ahead and get some new ones also another thing I forgot to mention is I do have liners in my bag so I have these liners from Etsy I can link them down below I just have the oh gosh I just have these black felt liners that actually have these two pockets if I wanted to put stuff in there but these just help to protect the bag and I just wanted to have a black liner in them because the bag is black with black hardware so I figured having a colored liner would look a little bit weird okay so in this middle 
compartment that has a zipper. Let's see what's in here. So in here, I always keep a pair of sunglasses. Usually I always keep these exact same ones, which are these Prada shades. I don't know what these are called. I don't know what these are called. They're actually kind of dirty. Like this lens is actually quite dirty. Hopefully the camera's not picking that up. But I always keep these in my bag because you never know when you might need some shades. And I like these ones because they kind of go with whatever I'm wearing. I love Prada shades because I feel like the detail with the handle is just so nice. I feel like they have really good craftsmanship. So I keep those there. I also have some feminine products in this middle part, which I like to keep in the middle. That way people don't see them. Not that people should be going in and out of my purse, but people are nosy, so you never know. Now in this last back compartment, I also have, oh, more feminine products, that's cute. I have this purse holder, which I got from Amazon. I can link this down below. I've actually never used this, but if you ever go out to eat at restaurants, you know that some restaurants don't have hangers for your purse. Also like a lot of bars don't have hangers for your purse. And I don't, I will never put my purse on the ground unless I'm in a plane and I have no choice and it has to go underneath the seat. But otherwise I will never put my purse on the ground. I don't care if it's a $20 purse. I'm just not putting it on the ground. The ground is disgusting. And so having a purse hanger is nice. That way you can hang your purse without it being on the ground or without it like having to stay in your lap awkwardly. Brooklyn actually put me onto these, so shout out to her for letting me know about those. I have a mini Bible. This is like those Bibles that people just always give out. This is the New Testament, Psalms, and Proverbs. I never read this Bible, but I just like to always have a Bible on me. So like in my car, I have a Bible. I think the Bible in my car is just only the New Testament, but it's in red. Like when Jesus talks, it's in red. Love that. But I just like to always have a Bible on me because I feel like just an extra layer of protection. So I keep that in here. Who knows, maybe one day I might just crack it open when I'm, you know, chilling, but I don't. I just like to have it on me. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, I do have a purse liner in this back part too. Again, I will link those liners below. And this liner also has, this is gonna be really hard to show, so I'm not even gonna try. But this liner also has those two pockets in case I wanted to put extra stuff in here and divvy it out some more. But lastly, I have this <laughs> little coin purse. My brother, Nemica, got this from, for me when he was in Brazil. And I literally just keep loose change in here. I usually forget that I have this because I don't typically have cash and I don't typically need change, but sometimes, you know, it's good to have um, at those random moments when maybe I'm spending like 107 and I don't want to charge my card. I'll just get out four quarters, a nickel, and two pennies. That's what's in my purse. This bag is pretty big. I'm able to fit either a book or a notebook in here. Usually when I do that, I put it in the back pocket because the front pocket is the pocket that I go through the most. And I'm sure you all can tell that based off of what's in each pocket. The things in the back pocket, I almost never reach for. The things in the front pocket, I reach for all the time, but... That is what is inside of my purse. Again, this is the YSL Lulu in medium. It is a pretty large bag. So yeah, I love this purse. I would highly recommend it. If you do decide to buy this purse, again, don't get the black hardware, get gold or silver. I do want to get a smaller one of these, which I'd probably get with the gold hardware. But also if you buy this bag, do not buy it brand new. This is one of YSL's most popular bags. So you can get this resale pretty much anytime and you can save like a lot of money. I got mine resale and I saved a thousand dollars. So I would never recommend buying this brand new because so many people resell it and because there's so many of them on the resale market, you can get them in like pretty much new condition. I got this with the box, with the identif with the with the authentication cards and authenticated for like I said a thousand dollars less and at the time when I got it, it was in like new condition. It didn't have like these issues with the hardware that I've gotten just from wearing it over time and then also I only buy from reputable resellers who authenticate and then I also get my authenticated a second time because even if I'm in a fake stuff but love her so yeah this is my YSL Lulu this is what's inside of my purse let me know if you want me to give you all a review video of this bag and give you all the specs on it and also I can tell you where I purchased it from if you're so interested as always thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video bye